Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Himalaya Winter Care range which has recently been launched and this range consists of body lotions and face cream, day cream, night cream, moisturizing cream and lip balms. I have been using it since the last couple of weeks and uh, some of the products are really really nice. So let me just get started on what the products include. So first off, we have the body lotions. There are three variants. They come in the standard um, Himalaya packaging, which is a white bottle and a green cap. And um, there are three variants, like I said. There's one for normal skin, one for dry skin, and one for extra dry skin. And uh, each variant also has different uh, fragrances to it. So the one for normal skin has uh, aloe vera and winter cherry. The one for dry skin has grape seed and almond oil and the one for very dry skin which is my favorite and which is what I've been using ever since I've got it has uh, cocoa butter and wheat germ in it. So the normal skin one is this blue color one. It's teal blue and um, it is quite nice. It is quite uh, moisturizing and I think this would be perfect actually for the hot summer months because it's not very greasy it's not very sticky and it also doesn't give very um, a lot of deep hydration so i think and especially since my skin is very 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 dry my body the skin on my body is very dry and um, so this is very nice for the summers for winters it's just not enough the dry skin one is still good if your skin is not that dry then you could try this out for winter it has grape seed oil and uh, almond oil and um, it is it is again it's not very greasy it is quite hydrating and it's nice you know it's just not enough for my skin fragrance wise these two are not really my kind of fragrances they have a powdery um, kind of fragrance that sounds right but they're basically not what I like this one now the cocoa butter one for the extra dry skin now this is what I absolutely 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 love I have been using this ever since I got it and pretty much I think I have just one fourth of the bottle left and um, it has very nice warm kind of fragrance um, I don't know how to describe it but it's, it's a warm fragrance that's just right for winter it is really thick gets absorbed easily into the skin hydrates my skin really really well it does not feel greasy it does not feel sticky and i really like it a lot now these are the 200 ml bottles i think they're also available in a bigger size but the 200 ml bottles are priced at 140 rupees each which i think is a good price it has a flip top cap that shuts firmly and uh, even while traveling i have taken it on travels and uh, it's there's been no leakage there has been no spillage or anything so the cap is secure enough for when you're traveling and uh, yeah i really like these next we have the face creams now these are you could see something like a cold cream this is essentially a moisturizer that anybody can use and again there are two variants there's the oops there's the nourishing skin cream which is uh, light and non-greasy and it's for normal skin and then we have the winter defense cream so this one is for dry or extra dry skin they come in these kind of jars and these ones are um, priced at 125 each and this is 100 ml so these are 100 ml jars I think these also are available in a bigger size but the 100 ml are priced at 125 each and uh, they come in this kind of a jar so when you open it now this is the most annoying part it comes with this this extra thing that prevents spillage but it's just too messy and if you have gel nails like me it's a pain to open and even you know even when you shut it after using you can see all this can you see that's all the extra cream that gets accumulated on 
around the rim when you push that extra lid on. Oops. So, I mean, that's that's one really annoying thing. And I'm trying my best to open this. So, here. Yeah. Success! So, this is how it is. It looks really rich and creamy, but it's not that greasy. It is quite lightweight. Again, it gets absorbed very fast into the skin. And it's nice for, um, for you know, winter. It's nice for winter. It's nice for when you're traveling. And see, it gets absorbed pretty well. So I quite like it, but I hate the packaging. I, you know, so what I do is I just throw that away. But obviously, since I had to show it to you in this review, I didn't throw it away. Now I'm going to be doing that. The Winter Defense Moisturizing Cream. This one is for extra dry, very dry skin. And this one has jojoba oil, wheat germ, and almond oil. Both of these have a very nice fragrance. This one I like more. Again, I'm going to be struggling with this. Ugh. God, why do they, I mean, don't they try these out? Don't they see how inconvenient? Okay, now this is something you have to see. Mm. Can you see that? It's like, it's like a snow mountain. So anyway, uh, the child in me loves doing these kind of things. So, so I'm a mother to two children. So this one is again, it, this one is thicker, richer than the other one, but again, it gets absorbed very well, very fast into the skin. It's not greasy and it is very hydrating. I really like it a lot, except for the packaging. Now then, we then have the day cream and the night cream. So this one is the day cream. It comes in an outer, outer carton like this. So it, this is what the packaging is like and this says clear complexion whitening day cream. Now why, why, why the whitening? Okay, it brightens up your skin, it adds luminosity to it, but why whitening? I mean you can't have white skin, nobody has white skin. They're pale but they're different shades of beige, different shades of rose. Anyway, rant over. Inside that there's a heavy glass jar. So the day cream comes in this heavy glass jar with a green lid. Why isn't it focusing? Forget it. Um, so this is the kind. Of, this is the jar that it comes in, and when you open it, it has an aluminium foil, an aluminium seal, uh, that aluminium seal uh, that that make sure that the product is intact which of course you remove once you start using it and the day cream is a bit it appears to be a bit tinted but it's not so when you apply it it is just it just gets absorbed into your skin and there's no color there's no tint there's nothing of that sort it just feels tinted and again it is very lightweight for some reason this feels very cooling on my skin when I apply it and um, again not greasy it hasn't broken me out touch wood and it has a very um herbal kind of fragrance i mean it, it's um it has this fragrance that you know homemade face packs usually have i can't really pinpoint as to what exactly it is but um, it's not that bad now the main ingredients in this are licorice and white damo I don't know what white demo is and this comes to so hydrate your skin lighten your skin tone and give you even clear complexion licorice is known to lighten skin and fade dark spots and blemishes and the white demo exhibits antioxidant properties to reduce mild pigmentation and spots resulting in an even skin tone so basically what they're saying is you can get even unified skin tone your skin appears more brighter radiant not white next we have the revitalizing night cream now this is something that my mom has been using since uh, since quite a while uh, maybe not this exact night cream but another night cream from himalaya my mom has been using it since 
quite a few years now and she really loves that particular night cream now um, this one has white lily and tomato and it's supposed to restore moisture balance nourish and repair uh, it has white lily which is rich in antioxidants helps neutralize free radicals and repair daily damage and tomato which is rich in flavonoids and alpha hydroxy acids and helps in cell renewal all of this while you get your beauty sleep it's called beauty sleep for a reason now again it's in a glass jar with this curvy green metallic tinted lid the lid is plastic it just looks metallic and oh yes i forgot these also have this annoying annoying thing i've thrown it away from the day cream i forgot to remove it from here and surprisingly what is more surprising is that the night cream is lighter in texture than the day cream so it it just looks like a gel creme and um, it's very 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 light so you can use this even in summers even in uh, monsoons you know even those who have oily skin can use it so it's not um, it's not something that is going to make your skin more greasy or um, sticky or feel oily and uh, very lightweight and when I've used this and woken up in the morning my skin has felt really soft and plumped and um, and fresh though on an average I never get more than uh, five to six hours of sleep during school days and yet you know after using this cream it, it my skin felt like it had got a proper good night's sleep and before going for my morning walk I didn't have to reapply any product or anything at all Neither did my skin feel greasy, except around my nose, which is where it does get a bit oily. So this is a very nice product and I really, really like it. Now both the night cream and the day cream are free from alcohol and parabens. So they've tried to make it as, um, as safe for the skin as possible. But they do have, um, oh where was that? I had read it somewhere. They do have a little bit of silicone in it. It has dimethicone, but it's way down on the ingredient list. So it's not, it doesn't give you that silicone-y um, feeling. I don't know if you understand what I mean. You know the kind of, um, the kind of feel that you get when you use silicone-based products and primers and stuff? This will not do that. So I really, really like both of these, especially the night cream. Again, this is 50 ml and this one's priced less than the day cream this one is 200 rupees while the day cream is 250 rupees so do check it out especially the night cream i really really like it. and last but not the least we have the lip balms which actually come in a packaging like this so that's where you have them and there are two variants one is the vanilla and one is the strawberry shine I love the vanilla one. I absolutely love it. So let me talk about that one first. So like I said, this is the packaging. Natural soft vanilla lip care. And for every lip product, lip balm that you purchase, the Himalaya lip balm, two rupees go to the uh, corrective cleft surgery. You know, there are some children who have the cleft, uh, who have the uh, upper parts of their mouth fused who have a cleft there and uh, the surgery is quite expensive for those who can't really afford it so uh, himalaya donates two rupees for every lip balm uh, purchase now it comes in a classic tube twist up tube it is non-tinted it is it has a lovely bubble gummy fragrance now um I don't know how to describe this, you know, but there's a little bit of vanilla in it and there's also a bit of bubble gum in it and it's it's really nice. I really like this lip balm. It does not feel sticky, it does not feel thick on your lips like how you feel, you know, if you've used any product that has uh, petroleum jelly in it. So I really like it. It soothes my lips. It, um, it, it works. It does what it claims to do you know what more can i say for a lip balm um this one has uh this one does not have any kind of preservatives any petroleum jelly any mineral oil or silicones 
No wonder I like it so much. And where did the ingredients go? I've seen it somewhere. Okay, I'll mention the ingredients in my blog post if I can find them. But like I said, really nice and more so for children because I have noticed that my boys, you know, being boys, they don't want to use lip balms which um, have any kind of color in it. So even if the, the tint doesn't show up on the lips, they don't want a lip balm that has any kind of color because they think it's lipstick. And um, again, they don't want anything that remotely resembles girly products. So this one is perfect for them. There's no annoying tint. There is, you know, there's a, there's a lovely, very nice bubble gummy fragrance that they love and that I love. And it just works very well. It just works fabulously. So this is one product that I highly, highly, highly recommend. It is uh, 4.5 grams and it is priced at 125 rupees. Then that's not really that expensive. Then we have the Strawberry Shine Lip Care. So it's the strawberry fragrance. Again, 2 rupees are donated to the corrective cleft surgery. Again, it does not have any preservatives, any petroleum jelly, any mineral oil or silicones and it has 100% natural color. This is how it looks and it does have this uh, scary bright wine kind of color but as you can see, barely any tint barely anything so you can apply it on your lips and you know you'll just probably get a faint pinky tint or something but nothing much so don't feel scared you know or don't be put off by the color it's nothing to be scared of fragrance wise i don't like it i i, I don't know why but it's got a very it does smell of strawberry but it also smells of something else that I can't really pinpoint and I'm not enjoying it. I mean, I don't truly really like the fragrance of this one, but fragrance is a very subjective thing. What one might like, another one might not like. So uh, if you want something with a little bit of tint that does not have mineral oil, that does not have petroleum jelly, that does not have preservatives, is very gentle on your lips, then do check it out. It has a little bit of tint and see if you like the fragrance. For me, it was just a very personal thing. I didn't like the fragrance, so I loved the one of the vanilla. So that was it. Please give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to make videos as frequently as I can, but due to uh, circumstances, you know, like my mother-in-law is on bed rest and my kids were unwell and then I was traveling. So it has been very difficult. And uh, I guess all you mommies out there would know what it's like, you know, when you're trying to juggle one million things at a time. But I will try to make videos more frequently. So please do subscribe to my channel and leave your feedback in the comments below. And I'll see you soon. Bye.